It's that time again. It's time for another Saturday Night Special where I talk about everything rock hounding related. And really, I only have two topics to cover tonight. And, well, I guess three. Dang it, I'm screwing it up already. Um, in the past couple of weeks or so here on the Saturday Night Special, we've talked about a number of really heavy topics, kind of really complex, in-depth things. And uh, this this week, we're going to put... Put, put a pin in, in that, and uh, I wanted to straight up talk about some rocks, and well, I'm going to talk about the weather for a second. It has been toasty, toasty hot in the Pacific Northwest, which has made my workshop very toasty. Um, it's uh, uncomfortably warm for me. <laughs> but uh, let's look at some rocks. So, you know, we went out to the China Hollow Mine, uh, went to Big Beers Mountain. Uh, it was great to meet Dawn, the owners of those mines, and hang out and uh, see see his his whole operation. And I gotta I gotta say, like when I meet somebody like that, I have a tendency to like ask a million questions. You know, I'm just like ah this 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 this. I have all these questions, and they were so polite and so patient, and they're just like into chatting about their operations, and just on and on, the whole picture Jasper world, like, if you ever have the opportunity, right, to go to Wasco and meet up, meet Dawn, meet the other guys, and just chat them up. Like, I promise you, right, I'll stake my reputation on this. I promise you, if you go out there and see his shop, you will have a good time, and you will learn things. Like, what more do you need? I know, I know we have a lot of people that watch the channel here that live in Portland. Um, that's a major metropolitan area. Go to Wasco. Call Dawn. Send Dawn a, a message. Just show up. Like, do what you got to do. Very, very cool. Very cool. Let's look at some of these rocks that we collected when we were out there. Um, so one thing that I've seen somebody do in the past was they took a, a rock and they cut a bunch of slices off of it, which that's that there. This is some of that Biggs material. And this stuff, it's just, it's so awesome. Um, you can see that we have this like opal on the side. It started to, as I was slicing into it, right? It started, I found my first couple of holes. Um, I'm contemplating uh, like cleaning this up and just having this be a display piece because I don't need probably more slabs than this. I mean. Um, I think it's kind of cool as is, you know, like it's nice looking just like this. It's fun, you know, um, I, I like a good display and and that. But so check it out. Um, the saw has been running a lot. Uh, I slabbed up the other side of that rock and I thought we could kind of just go through this some and look at some of these. We'll kind of well, let's skip the end, little end piece here, but. This stuff is just like so gorgeous, so gorgeous. Now I have, um, well, I have some plans for this winter. I think I'll show you right here. Check this out. Look, you get some very beautiful scenes out of this. Very just lovely material. Um, I uh, one thing that I want to do is I want. Why is this not spraying? Operator error. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> there we go. Uh, one thing I want to do this, this winter is I want to get good at making cabs. So I've kind of been working on building a stockpile. A stockpile of slabs. So different projects, you know, I can just do them. I can just come out and grab something and start cutting. But we just have so many beautiful pictures in this material. Like, look at that. Look at that. You could do something so nice with this. You get it. The material's awesome. So that was the bigs. And then we went... I can't think of the name. We went to site number two, 
And I picked up a couple of, uh, like, I guess specimens. We'll call it specimens. So we have this, and it's like a opal going into... I wouldn't even be able to really venture a guess. It's like this betroidal agate material. Um, and, yeah, I mean, it's fun. I, I think this one, I might put it in the saw and just cut a flat bottom on it so that it can kind of stand up. I think that would probably be the best use for this piece. And that's kind of really why I picked picked that up. There's also, um, well, I still have more of that type of material from the China Hollow, like this piece right here. I think this could be really nice. Um, you can see the kind of pattern that runs through it. I think this would be excellent for some big slabs and do uh, maybe some polished big, big pieces out of this one. And then we went up to the New Bigs Jasper, China, uh, new, either New Bigs or Beers Mountain, depending on what you want to call it. And while I cut this piece, you can see it's kind of like, I cut this to kind of have it be a, a thing to stand up. And I think it looks good dry. Um, you know, I, I could polish this up. This is just going to be a straight up display. Um, I'll probably leave that matte finish. I think it just like looks good sitting on a shelf just like that. Uh, but I did pick up this piece there and well, it's kind of fractured up. Uh, you know, it was all dirty and I couldn't really see, but you know, it doesn't exactly want to hold its shape after you cut it. And even trying to cut big pieces, it kind of wanted to, to break up on me. And you know, they can't all be winners, right? Like, uh, that's just the, the nature of it, but it is just, I'm ecstatic. Uh, speaking of, <laughs> speaking of the cabs, right? Like I, I'm going to get better at the, at the whole making cabs thing. I think that'll be a fun winter goal. Uh, this is where I'm at with my slabs. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I mean, this bin is, uh. There you go. My bin is like half full. Um, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, the plan is to try to fill the bin. And I think, uh, man, uh, I can probably make a ton of preforms and really, really get good at it. You know, that's uh, kind of up there on my priority list. Also, also, James, who's a major supporter here on the channel, sent some rocks. Now, what he sent is really cool. Uh, you know, We've had a, a rough time with the barrel. Um, you know, we've gone out to Winchester Creek, we've gone out to a couple other places as well, and, uh, you know, try to investigate some of these claims. And well, coming up empty handed, well, he sent <laughs> some amazing, amazing barrel. Look at this. That is so, so blue. It's incredible. Um, now, I think this material is probably best appreciated in photos so let's uh we'll look at some of that but i'm um, i have a couple of thoughts on this i would like to maybe try to extract some of them um i think it'll be a little tough the it's in like a, a smoky quartz and it seems pretty well pretty solid i guess you could say it seems pretty solid and and that um I don't want to, I might pick a couple and try to extract them out, but it seems a little tough. I can maybe cut them out with a trim saw. If you have any advice on how to process kind of some of this material, I am all ears, right? Like I would love to do something with it and extract some for a specimen and just, and that. Um, yeah, much appreciated in advance, you know. Um, I can't, uh, can't figure out exactly what the, next course of action action is with that um oh before i forget we also have this piece from the from beers which i hope this like pattern of the white and the black kind of run through it in a manner that i could get something out of almost looks like little mountains you know with the, the angularness angularness <laughs> of it um but yeah um china hollow i mean i you know I don't have much Jasper. Uh, basically all of the Jasper I have 
has been given to me by you guys, the viewers here on the channel. And uh, we just haven't had a whole lot of opportunities to go rock hunting for Jasper. And then to kind of uh, start it off on that high note of going to China Hollow, a legendary location, is just, uh, well, it's awesome. It's completely, completely awesome. So, um, yeah, you know, um, we can keep it light and easy this week. Um, I hope you're having a fabulous week. I do have some awesome content coming for this coming week. I have two new additions to my uh, tool belt, so to speak. Two new uh, tools for, eh, kind of for the shop. I think you're going to enjoy the videos. I think they're pretty good. I am uh, stoked. These are two things that have been uh, something I've wanted for a very, very long time. A very long time. And uh, I'm very excited to be able to share it with you guys here. Like, you know, um, I know that we're a little disconnected here and that uh, it's like one way communication, but um, I get pumped when I can show something cool that's rock hounding related here and, um, you know, people can engage with me on it. So uh, I hope you're staying cool. Um, it is already toasty out here in the shop and I'm filming this before 9 a.m. <laughs> it's already warming up. It's already uh, already toasty. So, um, happy rock hounding. I hope you have a awesome 4th of July celebration, if that's your cup of tea or cup of coffee, beer, whatever. Anyways, everybody, y'all take care now. Thank you so much for watching my entire video. If you like the content that I'm producing here on this channel and you want to support the content even further, you can do so by becoming a channel member by hitting the join button down below. The membership comes with a growing library of exclusive videos and just great other extra content. So I uh, just follow the links down below and I will see you on the next video.